Good morning. Uh, this is Thomas Keegan with LibertarianProgressive.com. It is uh, September the 2nd, uh, Sunday um, at 8 a.m. Uh, again, we're interviewing independent and third-party candidates who you might not normally hear about, but um, if we want to make this a November to remember, uh, it would be good to know about some of these candidates and, and, and just to know that there's uh, plenty of them out there. There's more than enough to um, uh, have a majority in Congress, and hopefully we could just at least have uh, enough to um, make a, a positive uh, a revolution, basically. And um, so today on the line, I have um, Ilya uh, Katz. Uh, he's running as an independent uh, in uh, Florida, and uh, he's running against Debbie Wasserman Schultz near the, the Miami area. It's district number 23. Uh, he has an uh, interesting uh, s stories to tell. Uh, he's a political satirist. He's also a, um, and, and he has a couple of books out and, and does great uh, artwork and illustration work as, as well as a great wit. And he's also been a professor. He did experience living in the, um, the, the now non-existent but previous uh, Soviet Union for a while before uh, coming to America. And now um, he's participating in uh, this electoral process. Um, it's not something I, 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 I've talked to him like once before actually. We, we were trying to do an interview and I had a problem with uh, my recorder. So uh, here we are going again and I, I thank him for uh, uh, you know giving us some extra time here to do this again and, and, and let people know all of their options. Um, I did want to ask Ilya, um, a fundamental question since you've you know lived in the United States uh, you've lived in the former Soviet Union um, I mean you, you know it might sound like such a basic philosophical question I'm sure everyone has their own opinions but um, what does it mean to you to, to, to be free and uh, like can you give us a definition uh, or, or just um, your thoughts uh, it doesn't have to be a definition but just your thoughts on freedom, uh, freedom in, in life as a human being or as just a free-thinking individual, and, and what has motivated you to enter in this race on 2012 uh, so we can have um, uh, some constitutional accountability again. Ilya, and good to talk to you. Thank you for being here today, sir. Okay. First of all, <clears throat> I try to explain why I came to the United States. I came to the United States to search of freedom, of uh, liberty, and pursuing of happiness. I came to the United States to search of society where individual can have priority of the opinion, of the style of life, of the style of any activity. And, uh, of course, in the Soviet Union, I was one of the million slaves who was forced to build the great, uh, the great and ugly tower of socialism. We call this bubble tower. Personally, I like more is a tower of capitalism. It's lean, but not, not, uh, <laughs> not destroyed, not fall. So even now, uh, you're talking about freedom in United States, but uh, I don't see too much freedom now in United States. I can see a lot of common with the Soviet Union. For example, uh, our Constitution and Bible proclaim that all people equal. But if you go for election process, if you have no money, you cannot be equal. You cannot be served. Uh, our Constitution proclaim then all people have to be equal. But if you will go to family court for divorce, side who has a more expensive, better lawyer will win. It does not matter what is the true, it will win. 
today one arm of the government, I am talking about family court, shocking our society. I understand that uh, in the past women were discriminated in the uh, United States. So now court and stick to different direction. Today men discriminated. Does not matter what can do women. You know, I'm joking that women could be even a serial killer and she will get a custody. But what's happened? Today in the United States we have tens and tens of millions of fatherless children. They have no example. They have no role model of the hard working, staying tall person with character which is supposed to be father. You know, you cannot fly with one wing. You know, you need uh, two wings. So children need a family. Even if somebody, member of family, not the greatest role model, it's still much better than fatherless. Today we have uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousand social workers, uh, different judges, uh, psychologists, um, lawyers, and what is our situation? Check. A black family situation today. Two thirds of the all born kids in black family born out of wedlock. The situation also very bad in Spanish families, in uh, just uh, uh, white Caucasian families, in any families. But family, it is a uh, basis of the society, at least of society in our culture. And 400 years ago, the great philosopher uh, Roger Bacon uh, told us that love to your country starts in a family. And today we have no equality in family court, so therefore I just finished my book it's called Civil Servants or Evil Servants. And this book will be out of publisher in two weeks. And also, I finishing another big book. It's called Cats, with my name, versus Rats. This is my personal, extremely bad experience with one of the arm of the government in large and uh, disgraceful, I would say, and I don't afraid, this word fascistic, cannibalistic arm. It's called family court. One of the, my uh, ideas uh, why I started to run for public office, these two Donate my golden ears to my country, to people of my country, to children who is the future of our country. Because then children, fatherless, fatherless kids, it's not only abuse of this generation, it's abuse of future generation. Because sin go in blood and sin could be transmitted to future generation. I am standing tall today for presumption of an innocent. We have in criminal court presumption of innocence. You are not guilty until not proven guilty in court of the law. You are not guilty until fully finished, complete due of process. What happened in family court? In family court, any side can lie as much as they want. And nobody take them responsible. 
if you will make responsibility an accountability basis of family court, people will be careful because if you accuse somebody, your duty is proof or it will be called lie and malice. This law will cut great quantity of lawyers. It will be simplify process of the, all the family disputes. It will save a lot of money and a lot of pain to our country. Another, my idea, it is make decision, sharp decision about our economy. What Republican promised? Republican generally promised that we have to cut expenses and increase production. Well, that's normal. It's very good to cut expenses and increase production. But in today's global situation, uh, they, uh, I'm talking about Republicans, they did not explain us how they can drastically increase production. Or they did not explain us what exactly they will cut. What they will cut. Social security, Medicare, military expenses, education, everything what I said, not easy to cut. Our country is sick. Is it normal that we have a two million citizens in prisons? Today we have higher percentage of prisoners in country of freedom, as you say. Okay, then such uh, totalitarian, still totalitarian countries as uh, China and Russia with bigger population. Why did nobody care? Nobody care. Today, uh, disoriented young people who have no purpose in their life uh, these people hook up with marijuana, hard drugs, booze, and alarming level of dropout. So Would are you, you call this? The, what's the root cause of that? Are you saying that's because? Yeah, I will family? tell you what is the root. Yeah. The root, then you cannot make flag of your society. Uh, big, fat hamburger. You have to give uh, people, young people, cultural mission, social mission, political mission. And political mission, it's not uh, blind faith to one leader or another. When I see one convention, I see crowds. <laughs> when I see Opposite convention, opposite party, also <laughs> I check six elections. You know what? Absolutely the same. Hundred thousand balloons, entertainment, cheering, and country deeply and deeply go in death. Deeply and deeply go down. What I would like to um, propose. Let's imagine, of course, it's quite fantastic idea, but uh, I try to count everything pro and contra. It's not so bad idea. So let's, let's imagine then tomorrow any decisive president, any decisive uh, Congress will implant a law for three years absolutely no any taxes for corporation, for business, for creators of wealth, for these people. What will happen? I try to think logically. It will be American renaissance of uh, entrepreneurship. Because everybody will think, I got a dream to open my business to do something, to achieve something. 
and every order taker, every underprivileged person will try to jump in a train, and train running only for three years. What will happen? First of all, American money, uh, which go abroad to India, China, and other country, American money will return back because America will have most friendly climate for the entrepreneurs for business, no taxes. And, do you and think we can the make second, that, can we make that five years, maybe? Or well, this is not my responsibility. Five will be even better. But three years will make a big push when people will see results, and the result will be for sure. Some people can say media, but how government will collect taxes? I will tell easy. If somebody will open business, he supposed to rent a place, and he will pay tax. He's supposed to buy equipment, and he will pay a tax. He's supposed to uh, hire people to work. And everybody will pay a tax. Uh, personal tax, yes. People who will get a constant job, people who will have insurance in their future, of course will buy a house. Of course will buy a good car. This is a first dream for anybody in America. And it will start a revival because our product will go also because the product will be cheaper. It's not taxes. It will go to foreign countries. We will start to be a real, a real a leader, not only in politics, a real with economy. Well, I think but that is, is pretty bold. I mean, it, it's I like that you're going for, you know, why not go for 0% instead of playing around with like 1 or 2 or 5 or Yeah, or this six. is give nothing. This is the same as secure cancer with aspirin. We will give a little bit lead. You have to make decision. And simultaneously, what is important, we're supposed to cut uh, state and uh, local and any government on the half, 50 percent. First of all, why we need the IRS? A lot of people promise that, but the problem is when they get in, they get bribed, I think. I mean, so do, are you saying that, um, uh, you know, maybe, you know, there's a lot of good solutions, but then there also has to be someone who can keep their oath and not be tempted? Not only. Uh, fattening make a country uh, weak. You know, people, because of fattening, you know, losing their balls. And don't forget that people of any party elected with the big money, and big money will ask them, do something for us. Do something and don't care about country. Well, it's too bad, but we are a country of big and small lobbies. I thought long time, why big whales sometimes happen with them and they throw themselves to the shore? Why? It was no reason. They're very big. Um, nobody uh, can... Uh, <laughs> Can, well, I can eat them up, even big uh, sharks can do this, and still big whales go on the shore and die. Well, I have my idea, and now this idea proved by scientists. Problem, the fattening go to brain, and fattening block sense of direction. So I think in our history, in our country, threatening of our society, mostly ruling society, yeah, who maybe have we need to, to lose? go on a diet or, or, or on a fast even, you know? <laughs> okay, this is a diet. I, 
I, you know, <laughs> uh, our medicine lost war with the uh, um, overweight. Uh, so maybe well, very that soon true. dieting true. will uh, push us to the right direction. I would like to tell you something. It's old saying, then gold, uh, excuse me, hunger is a very good stimulator. Hunger is a very good teacher. When woman, young, very young woman with undeveloped brains, but very much in good developed ass, she did not think when she go for relation with a boy, and boy did not think too, what will happen, they will produce children without any base, without family, without material sources. Why? Because they know nanny state will help them. They will get food stamp, they will have entitlement, they will have welfare, and therefore they don't care. If it will be different situation, it will be make our family stronger because each part need another part so therefore welfare policy has a two hands one to give people something another to choke people from their personal responsibility so i from my point of view it is a we have to return back to our basic values. I'm talking about Bible teaching, about uh, teaching of our founding fathers. Uh, very often, and now I was on a convention, I saw sign of MSNBC channel leading forward. This is their main, main slogan. But what this means lean forward? Everybody will agree that we on the verge, uh, on the edge of the uh, abyss, on the edge of the catastrophe. And to say lean forward, so it's <laughs> go directly to abyss. My point of view, we have to have another slogan, lean backward, back to our roots, and our roots are roots of individualism. Back to the future. This could save, yes, this could save America. Individualism, because America was absolutely exceptional country. People who are not happy with their government, with their social position, with the religious, came to America to stay tall, and uh, achieve their personal dream. Not for country, not for anybody, for themselves, for family, and maybe a little bit for close community. And these people achieve their goal. And um, America did not invent exceptionalism. No, exceptionalism invented America. And we forgot about this. We forgot then everybody is supposed to be personally responsible for his success or failure. Nobody has to uh, rely on nanny state because nanny state very soon will be a police state because nanny will make sharp rules. And we know country where the half of population was uh, in police uniform and another half in the prison uniform. Um, we you're, have right, many... you're right. We have the highest per capita. We have more prisoners per capita than China, than Russia, than Iran, than Cuba, than any place yeah. in, in the world. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's not because we're necessarily any worse than any people around the world i, I and, and I, I in fact I, I i i we're you know not at all um and 
things relate. I mean, if we don't treat um, family courts fair uh, and have the presumption of innocence until proven guilty, then we won't do that in other courts as well because that yes. kind of, that will leak over into other s aspects of society. It, it's um, it's it, it's not just a principle that sounds good and poetic, but it's actually a practical, um, natural law that um, whatever you do to others will be done back onto you, and, um, and 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 that's why we have to uphold uh, equal justice for everybody, right? Yeah, it's easy to talk, but not easy to do because we have thousands and thousands lawyers who like to eat good. Uh, we have five percent of the world population and we have 25 percent of the old lawyers. It's uh, despicable. We have so many parasites of society. Then I predict if it will be that situation in the country, I'm talking financial, political, well, economic, made a great moral. I, Ilya, you just made a great, I mean, it's a lawyer's, and that, now there are good lawyers too, of course, but just saying. Yes, general, yes. Yeah, but, but good the lawyers. lawyers. But the lawyers write the laws, and, and that's the thing, a lot of these laws being passed are filled with 20,000 pages. Um, yes, the same 3,000 pages of Medicare. No, we have a good law. Law is good. But lawyer, by his nature, cannot be good. Person who was taught in school how to go around facts and defend criminal already has something by his profession not very good. If lawyer has to defend for sure killer, for sure abuser, so what kind of of his moral? I don't think it's very high moral. And more they're, money they're going to get. They're not defending that they perform. They're, they're defending, well, they're supposed to be defending the process, not the person, per se. Yeah, but they, excuse because me, they're who, innocent. who defending the process? They, uh, somebody who paying for music and give order what kind of music. But I would like to speak a little bit more of what can happen with our society. Today, a lot of people say government will do this, government will do that. People rely on government. It's not supposed to be such a They have to uh, improve self-reliance, not the government. And uh, when uh, Mr. Romney, to whom I respect, in his recent speech told uh, Mr. Obama worry uh, and care about uh, universe and I will care about your family. You know, a couple hundred years ago, free men will stand tall and say, who are you, Mr. Businessman, to take care of my family? Please don't choke me with taxes. Don't choke me with stupid regulation. We have a thousand, a thousand regulation which choke a small businessman. And this is a dangerous of society. Uh, you know what? Yeah, it's like this type of medicine. This type of medicine more dangerous for society than any sickness. And government pretend protect society but who is the real the real center of society this productive people well, who's this protect is the us from middle the yeah. yes middle class and government don't create money Madam, government can take money from one group of our society and give to another it's called redistribution or simply robbery but Three men who produce this is middle class men. And when I hear from any side, when say we will be warriors for your uh, betterment, you know, middle class became warriors. Then more defenders, 
Then more parasite who did not produce anything, then worse for middle class. How we can explain then in time of the desperation, the decline of economy, decline of moral and many other things in society, Mr. Obama increased population of uh, government working for 130,000 people. And now with new law, it will be a new platoon of the bureaucrats who will give order how to obey law, what to do, what not to do. I believe in one thing. Then one day, in time of unrest, because uh, Americans very patient people, but one day they will tell, listen, stop, take our money, and stop, abuse us. And they will do what they can do. Well, I they think the will time stop. is now. I think, yeah, we are very patient. We are very prudent. We are. It's very not patient. enough. Maybe not crisis. People still have a piece of bread. People still has a hope. But there's so, something brewing in, 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 in the society now because Congress does yes. actually have, yes. a record, they have a record low approval rate rating right now. Yes. Most yes. people are not Republicans or Democrats. Most people are registered independents, and um, and and people are displeased. I mean, it's it's been going. We've been tossed. It's been like a ping pong in Congress. Like one every two years. Like you know, we've been switching who owns uh, Congress. It's because we don't want either of them to own it, and um, and, and and we can fix it instantly with a a a, a votes this November. Just imagine, like all you're asking for is two years, um, and uh, and every two years um, we have the Congress, and um, so that's yes, and uh, <laughs> we're supposed to do this because candidates as a partners, as I said, one satirist, and we have to change it's this an emergency pampers. break for um, the same same reason as Pampers, because they became yeah. dirty, yes. and. What I would like to finish my point, that I am afraid that people of United States, productive people, good patriots, will lose their patience. And they will have an important weapon. They will just stop to pay taxes, stop to feed government who abuse them. What will happen with the country? It will be crisis. If our leader proclaims hope and change, but matter of fact, it's the hopes and change. People proclaim faith, but sorry, that when you touch this, do you it. can see this, it is fake. He didn't How people live without, without any uh, any trust to the future if they did not satisfy even with present. You know, socialism, I told about this many times, uh, remind socialism um, promised people pie in the sky. But when people recognize the pie on the leash, as a result, people will get a leash and miss the pie. This is our future. And to finish our conversation, I would like these words, uh, words of the great writer and great patriot Antoine Saint-Exupéry. Uh, I paraphrase his words because these words are very good for today's situation. If you love your garden, if you see very terrible, uh, ugly weeds try to kill your beautiful flower. Stop and fight for your flowers. Save your garden from the weeds. And children, your children and your grandchildren will be thankful to you. Today our country 
in midst of political, uh, philosophical, cultural, social, economical and financial crisis. Today, we have to remember what said Bible. You are my brother and sister called to be free. Galatian. We have to remember what said our great president Abraham Lincoln. People who cannot fight for the justice, for the freedom, who gave up freedom. These people deserve what they will get. So therefore today I am asking everybody to stay out of crowd. Don't scream together because crowd has a mentality, it's scientifically proof, of the 12 years child. Despite crowd consists from many, maybe smart people. This is the essence of the crowd. Yeah, Stay yeah, that's, aside that's called the mob and do mentality. something. Yeah, that's called a mob mentality. Um, uh, it's 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 you're giving up your um, own individual thoughts. Think for yourselves, um, and, yeah. uh, and and have responsibility for his own decision. Only this can save our country. I'm not Nostradamus, just a Nostradamus. So therefore, my weapon, personally, not only to go to political life, then my reason why I'm going to political life, 77 years old man, when one of my heroes, Ron Paul, at 77, living politics. So only one idea to be heard. So you do and like Ron Paul. Easy. So what do you like, I mean, because I like Ron Paul too, and um, now he's definitely known as a freedom candidate um, for sure, and, and there's a lot of people um, that are the silent customers, like, um, and then there were a lot of tea parties in Occupy Wall Street, so something is brewing in this country, and it's, we can quit Republicans and Democrats anytime we want. Um, it, it, it's it's a, I promise there won't be any withdrawals from it. Um, uh, all we have to do is just uh, not select them anymore and let them go back to the private sector. Uh, and, and imagine what a message it will send, because it's not just the president um, who's making these decisions. It's Congress who also passes these laws, and, and if, hence you running for Congress. And uh, so what, 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 can I ask you, what, what, what is it um, like about Ron Paul that's um, because, you know, he was running for president on a Republican Party. Well, um, what, what is it that, uh, y you know, some of the... The main uh, idea yeah. and main high quality of Ron Paul when he is independent thinker. Some his idea great, some maybe not so great, but he is not hooked to party, uh, to party finger. He is a, uh, he is a person who walking by himself and on one leash, this leash, law and constitution. If this not coincide with constitution, Ron Paul will fight for this. Too bad we did not estimate in the right way such great so men. so let me get this right Ilya. his principles of believing in the constitution um and, and your admiration for that because um I, and i admire it too overweighs some of the minor differences that you might disagree with him about so we don't have to all agree oh yes <laughs> he can be too sharp you know in one side or too sharp uh, going to another side i am talking about essence of the man this man yeah. has independent voice. Yeah. He think about people as a whole and constitution as a base of our society. Uh, therefore, uh, of course, such person in our government will be the great asset for the country. And I go not only to be hurt, which is not easy for me, because I have no money, 
and uh, but I am writing satirical, humanistic books with aphorisms. My book Obama Sutra illustrated already um, in Barnes and Noble uh, and e-books, and I just wrote and finished seven other books about I'll, I'll, socialism. I'll put the links with this. Uh, re I'll put the links so if anyone's well, seeing Obama that. Political Cartoons dot com or www dot Obama Sutra book dot com. Yeah, it's a clever. So I will well, do my of, best. Instead of I will do my Sutra, best. It's Obama Sutra. I like that. Yes. Well, because <laughs> I'm not author of Kama Sutra, but I'm putting my or the last I, I was uh, different, in different position. Yeah, when I saw without that, without disrespect yeah. him personally. And today, you know, you said politicians uh, guilty in this and there. I believe then people guilty too, because our apathy political apathy, our indifference, not only around us, it is inside of us. Mm -hmm. We're looking for independence, we're looking to stay tall, but I'm sorry, I'm not very optimistic, And but you know what, uh, I try to be a small stone in the shoe of the big man. So it will make his life maybe less comfortable. And everybody has to vote now by principles, by their principles, not what one great idol or another great idol promised, well, if you have not enough, what they did for us. If you have enough grains of sand, that can end up making a whole beach, right? Yes, yes. Uh, listen, I afraid uh, our leaders has a lot of uh, sand in the head. You, I don't see leaders from capital letter. When I see uh, one convention or another convention, this is a big show. This is the same as the uh, uh, presentation of the Gaga show. The same, and uh, Lady Gaga has more people uh, who follow her than uh, a lot of politicians. And what said Bible? Don't create yourself idol. But we create idols. We create saver. Who is the saver? Mr. Obama? <coughs> or Mr. Romney? No. Uh, old, uh, old proverb that matter of saving drowning person in the hands of drowning person. People have to take care about themselves. But because they abused by mass media, by mass propaganda, drop by drop, and they make a hole in the head of the person, so I don't think You're right. of it is any good future. Yeah, we, we, I'm old man anyway. No, you're, uh, Ilya, you're right. We are getting propaganda. I'm glad you used that word because it does seem like that's what we're getting is just a bunch of propaganda. Yes, we're getting with a different propaganda, different promises. I want to ask you and something. And the election started again. You have some good insight. Like, uh, I mean, what can we learn? Um, and by the way, just for anyone listening, you're the only independent candidate running in your 23rd district in Florida, there's only another yes. Republican and another Democrat running against you. So, if you if if you want to make a sorry, point, I'm running against them. Or you're running against them. <laughs> yes, that's right. yes, that's right. And um, we're running against them. Um, and uh, and and so that that that's that's true. I mean, they've you, you know, it's like a bad relationship. It just needs to end. And um, and they can go their way, and we can go ours. Um, but with the experience that you had now, I, I know you have a lot of experience through the years, but I mean, for a lot of people probably never grew up in a totally um, outward 
a totalitarian society, although th there is a lot of totalitarianism in the United States and a lot of injustices for sure that happens around the world and, and, and any you know, more that we can reduce that is, is better. But I mean, what are some of the lessons? What are some of the experiences? What are some of the things that, you know, we might not know that um, that, that we should? And, and, and what are some of the things that, you, you, you know, that we can learn from history and, and uh, not be doomed to make the same mistakes? Well, it's a nice, well wishing. Americans not interested to learn from history. Most Americans believe that history started in the United States. But we have 2,000 years old history of uh, Roman Empire. Roman Empire was a very strong military, very strong financially, and uh, empire lost to the barbers. Why? Because a uh, big empire, strong empire, was rotten from inside. Uh, welfare, totalitarianism, and uh, lack of personal responsibility and lack of freedom, this can ruin any country. Okay, we are most kind country. And kind of supposed to get a big, strong feast. But what's going on? Uh, you know, we have no leaders who has a vision. What kind of vision got uh, President Bush? I sent him a time ago. I said, Mr. President, you start a war with Saddam Hussein with Iraq. But your father... A very smart politician, President Bush, elder, your father, he stopped American tanks in time of the war in Kuwait and Iraq. In a few miles from Baghdad, he could take off Hussein easy way. In one day, he did not do this. Why? Because Hussein and Sunni ruling Iraq was a counterbalance to Shi ruling Ayatollah ruling Iran. So in politics to say, oh, oh our uh, Saddam Hussein is an ugly man, is evil, of course he was evil, but why we did not throw out more, much more evil men as a Joseph Stalin. Why did we not throw out more biggest killer in the world history who killed 60 million of his own people, Mao Zedong? You know, it is a little bit, uh, it's lack of strategic governmental yeah, thinking. Yeah. You know, we call democracy, democracy, and what was final? Final, President Obama said, I will take our people, our soldiers out of Iraq. In a responsible way, this is what? Good, good idea, responsible. What is the result? The result, not too much responsible, because Iran, going inside of Iraq. And Iran and Iraq very soon will be completely unified. And who train army of Iraq police force? We train. We spend billions and life of our people. You know, if defeat brought us as a big victory, it is a very big defeat. Nobody care about this. We were thrown out. We left Vietnam. And two million Cambodian people were slaughtered. We promised uh, to help uh, Cubans, uh, freedom fighters, in time of the invasion of Bay of Peak. And we did not help them. And we have a caste regime 
for years and years regime which ignite other similar regimes in Latin America. We betray our friends many times and betray our friends, we betray ourselves. Yeah. We, we hook up with work of democracy. We think that we stole personal website of the God and on this website sign democracy. Excuse me, are you sure that democracy is so absolute thing? Democracy only good things if majority ruling can protect it. Rights of minority. What happened in uh, Egypt? In Egypt, our quiet American specialist from Langley suppo support uh, mass movement, support uh, Muslim brothers, and they help overthrow President Mubarak. I know. We're, 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 we're working with Al-Qaeda um, in, in a lot of those countries. It's just um, a completely, um, I, I mean, it's, I, I don't even know what it the It will be boomerang in us because it uh, does not matter what, how you feed the wolf, wolf still looking in the forest. It is mantra and mantra of uh, Islamists. Then every who is infidel, he is enemy, and you have a right to betray him, you have a right to kill him. This is in religious. Any law only to people who believe in Allah. Even people who believe in Allah, fighting with each other for small difference. What is the difference between Sunni Muslim and Shiite Muni? Uh, Shiite Muslim. Only one believes that one uh, grandson is a best prophet, another believes that another person the uh, best follower of uh, prophet Muhammad. So, and they kill each other for thousands of years. So therefore, today, the great dangerous for us, it is a building of uh, Arabian Muslim highly aggressive caliphate. And these people who don't afraid to die, so these people extremely dangerous. And today, only small Israel in the dark ocean of the hatred, staying strong for our values, for freedom, for independence, for right to live peacefully. But nobody gives him the right to live peacefully. And today from one side we have uh, Iran, another Syria and Hezbollah, and another officially what the think, Egypt um, do government you... proclaim Israel the greatest enemy. Well, I... Let's see how what America we, will do. Yeah, do you think the Clinton agreement, do you think that was pretty close there? I mean, you might not have liked him. I, I wasn't a big fan of Clinton myself, but do you think, like, the process that he was starting, do you think that was the right direction? Excuse me. It will be no process. Many, many politicians started work. We remember Menachem Begin and Arafat they got together and tried to do... It's, uh, it's all theater. It is in the blood of the people kill infidel. If you will kill infidel, you will go on the sky, on the heaven to Allah, and you will get, I believe, 72 virgins. I don't know why they need so many virgins, what they can do with them. But does not matter. Even educated people who finish uh, American and British University, they go and blow us as hard as possible. Today, only strong will, only power can prevent this caliphate. General Mubarak was for sure.
sure not democrat. But he was general. But how you can rule with this crowd who is uh, who is extremely extreme under yeah, Sharia law? Something you cannot give. rule with this only with iron fist. And what we have now, President Mubarak kept peace with Israel for 30 years, and he was a friend of the United States. United States betrayed this friend. I remember and I respect another general in Pakistan, General President Musharif. American also helped overthrow him. He was not enough democratic. What we have now, President Musharif kept in his small fist all this Taliban all these military and security forces, and he was a friend of the United States. Now we have most corrupted ruler in the world, Pakistani president. Well, maybe another corrupted ruler, and this is the president of Afghanistan. And these two countries join together generally against America. What do you think? They love Americans? They respect democracy, they live thousands and thousands of years of democracy. They consider democracy, it is a gay marriage, it is many other funny things we, uh, which we um, enjoy in our country. They don't understand this. They don't understand and they don't want to understand. Now some of them do. That's what we have today in Pakistan and Afghanistan, one side. All Eastern country, enemy of United States, created this enemy, who armed Osama bin Laden and his accomplices? Who? Who trained them? United, well, United States, States of America. Yeah, you're, yes. you're making a lot of good points. Actually, I want to get in here a little bit because, um, you know, I, I don't think we should be afraid to talk about religion, politics. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, we, yeah, let's have a good discussion, but let's avoid because religion. Because correctness. Yeah, political correctness. But let me just... Who is, a, let me just who is a real supporter to Major Hassan, who killed many his uh, fellow soldiers? I'm not sure, but but let me just um, a, we are. a few questions because um, because it's it's to, to me it's more about the debate than it actually I mean to me just as long as people can debate that's the most important thing now it seems like the societies where there is more um, uh, it's more civilized is where women have um, uh, uh, you, you know more rights and that are recognized and, and there is a movement in a lot of those countries for women's rights. Um, you know, and, uh, and and there's a lot of young people that, that do want democracy. I mean, um, you, you know, not all, of course, you, you, you know, I, I don't know. But no, not democracy for one group of population. I mean, democracy even in the Bible, even for in the Bible, everybody. Yeah, but even in the Bible, um, like before um, is, Israel claimed Israel, um, there were some prophets that were in the land that was preoccupied by the the people who were there first and god was friends with some of the uh one of the prophets i forgot his name but he was one prophet that uh that someone did visit i mean it, it's it's got you know even though yes in some parts it says that you know people are going to uh fight for a while it, it's but there's other um parts in there as well where um you, you, you know, there, there is uh, some statesmanship where people are uh, somewhat um, able to get along. It, it's um, especially when you think about uh, Solomon. Um, but um, uh, it, it's, I mean, that there's, um, and, and basically uh, something's got to give. I, I mean, either that or it's just going to be f forever. I mean, something has got to, um, or something should give. I mean, not for our sakes as much as for future generations. And, uh, I mean, you, you know, it was um, Moses led the people to the promised land, but God wouldn't let him into it because he actually killed someone. And even though he might have rightly deserved to, um, same with King David. He was a great general, but there's some things God held back until Solomon because of the deeds that David did, um, like by sending some troops to war. 
So, I mean, it's, it's the Bible sometimes tells stories. It's not saying it's particularly right or wrong. It's just saying it in a factual way. And, and, yeah. and, and it does lead to some things that are right and wrong. But, I, I mean, uh, but, I mean you, you know, where things are proclaimed to be right and wrong. Now, um, so, I mean, I'm just saying that we got to have some, the dialogue open. I mean, I, 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 I don't think it would be bad to see a shouting match between um, – uh, you, you, you know, some Palestinians and, and Israelis, as long as they're both willing to stay and shout it out until they both cool down and, and are able to talk. I mean, just when you, people get to the shouting point, that's almost a breakthrough. They've just got to stay a little bit longer um, and, and, and just continue it on. I mean, because um, it all has to do with communication as long as... Um, yes, you're absolutely right. But this is a wishful thinking. How many years Israel trying to support financially, to bring Arabs to work in Israel, to pay them good salary, does not matter. You cannot fight the thousand years of tradition. You we cannot find with can a... Can listen, Iraqi, uh, Iran's president, Mohammed Jad, educated man, how he can tell then Holocaust did not exist. But this that's is the whole goal. Historical but, 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 because it, it, they it, don't it, care it. about true faith all time more strong than logical thinking. You're this right. is our problem. No, that, that we is the invite them. struggle. It's the, that's that you're right, and I'm sorry to interrupt, but 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 you're inspiring some thoughts with your conversation and thoughts um, because that that is the ultimate struggle. I mean, we cannot um, always adhere perfectly to the Ten Commandments, um, although we can, and some people do. But then again, we we do need things. We need to be forgiven. Um, and uh, it, it, it's a human struggle. Are, are we animals or are we spirits in a, a animal body? And, um, and and that's the whole purpose. I mean, can, can we act like that we're at least... Uh, Our spirit here? decline. Sorry to admit this. Our spirit decline. And today people who uh, listening some of our leaders with open mouths, not because it's a surprise, because they expect the leader will put something in their mouth. People became dependent. People became uh, farm animals. And they don't want to go to forest of our life, a jungle of capitalism, and hunt and achieve something. They just don't want. So, excuse me, my friend, I am not very positive. Because we have right to be sure. But, for example, how I can be sure? How? I will go on street corner, uh, because media is not interested, despite my case, is absolutely unique. 77 years old immigrants start to bring his point of view, his concern, thinking to his country. It is a news. Who cares about it? Nobody. The same old person published nine books on political topics, extremely sharp. It's never happened in history of literature. In one year. You think anybody right. cares? In one Nobody year. cares. In, in People this. care for Big Hot Dog. I was in Atlanta in time of Tea Party. It was a uh, a lot of big people, so it was a big event. But when you put, when you go at 10 steps from this uh, place where it was a, a tea party, people don't care, people go to McDonald's, enjoy their life, they absolutely don't care what's going on. So, but I will do my best. As somebody said, old soldiers never die.
guys. Well, I will definitely vote for you. I mean, if I lived in the 26th district, and it doesn't even matter if you live in the 23rd district because you're going to a federal office. But let me ask you this. Would you, I mean, and this is kind of a, just a, a, a question that you might not have been prepared to answer, but w would you promise to read all the bills or at least understand a bill um, because you would be signing contracts in our representation. So it would be your responsibility on our behalf to um, legally um, uh, agree or, or introduce bills or vote or yay or nay on them. I mean, would you at least, um, uh, you, you know, try to understand the bill, study the bill, um, not feel rushed into signing You're something? absolutely right. I never will uh, automatically vote with party with direction, with pa any party bosses will give me, I will have my independent opinion, and before then I will have independent opinion, I have to know facts. Yes, sure, I will read any bills, even stupid ones, because sometimes to read stupid things is also very useful. Yeah. I can act on contrary. Yeah, yes, and, and if but don't big... worry, nobody, <laughs> nobody will elect me. Your one uh, hair will go in one direction, another well, hair will go in another. Let me ask you, why wouldn't they? Because, I mean, um, what's... Wh what's because I have no machine to, uh, to elect. I have to put signs. I would like to speak with people. And you know what, when I spoke on radio, uh, you know, people agree with me. People ask questions. I don't know one person so how do we who says, no, you're bridge stupid, that, yeah. you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, so how do we bridge that gap? Because if people agree with you, then it's just crazy. For I, 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 I need one, two things. Number one, I hope I will participate in debate yes. uh, between Captain Harrington, which, who is a Republican, and Debbie Wasserman Schulz, who is... Uh, Democrat. Right. So, a said old philosopher 2,000 years ago, a real true way in the middle. As I'm saying, we have a right-hand party, left-hand party, but I'm sorry, brain and heart staying in the middle. So, vote for independence. But country still is not ready. Yeah, I, kind of I have no muscles. I would like to organize a town hall to meet people. Uh, very sorry, despite I could be entertaining, despite I can bring a lot of uh, funny satirical books. Uh, well, all you have it's to do very objective. It, but, uh, uh, you, all you have to do is be better than the other two candidates. I mean, so, I mean, it's not No, enough. it's not enough. I could be better in my bedroom. So, the people don't know anything and don't care too much. Now, here's so, one thing people should know. Um, Debbie Watchman Schultz did vote um, for the, 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 of 2012, the National Defense Authorization Act, which by itself usually is just a spending bill, but what they did was attach some, and I'm going to send you some articles about this too, what they Thank did you. was attach um, legislation to it, 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 so it wasn't on its own, that um, allowed indefinite detention, and, and I'm not I'm not exaggerating one bit. I'm talking about complete Soviet style, like you can just pick someone up and they can disappear and they can be an American citizen without knowing the charges, without knowing the evidence, without, um, I mean indefinitely, without ever seeing a lawyer, without any due process. Um, yes, I mean, we, it, we're she, going to she, the totalitarian police that. state and a little small war against religious by President Obama and his accomplices, it's part of general war. It could not be a few gods in a country, only one God, Führer Obama. So it's a very old way. It's so well known way, but for me it is a very funny to listen to this opening, this togetherness, let's do together. Well, togetherness is the same as a, uh, as a person, a rider, riding on the mule or a donkey, and uh, say, oh, let's do together, I need you. 
Uh, you know, from the both sides, I see a lot of absolutely funny uh, propaganda blunders. And that's why but you're political satirist, satirist. Excuse me, but nobody read me, nobody know me. Not yet. Yes, Not yet. but uh, you know, anyway, I think we already abuse uh, our clock. We discuss many things. I want Absolutely. to tell, then I hope we will all together, get together to fight against abusive state for our motherland. And I believe that America will be real beautiful, not pitiful. And we have to be optimistic. Other way, it is no interest to be alive. At least I will do my best. I'm on the mission and nobody, never will stop me. I'm Ilya Katz. My first name called Ilya. It's translated strength for God. Katz, I am from family of Cohen's. My ancestor, King David, he was a small, but he did a good job on Goliath. So I will try to do as possible good job on David Wacky Schmutz. That's right, David versus Goliath. Um, th 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 there, there we go. And um, and uh, so maybe future generations we might have some Solomons. And um, so um, and, and actually, you know what? Some ways David Solomon wasn't perfect himself either. Um, so I, I, I do thank you for uh, your time, Ilya. I will say goodbye to you after Thanks. I end the interview. Um, okay. And uh, I hope you have an excellent day. There you have it. It's uh, it's actually. Let me just um, give your website out real quick. Um, it is. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's it's cats. U.S. Congress uh, dot com K A T Z U S Congress dot com. Please check him out. And uh, so, thank you very much for your time. And also, yeah. excuse me. More important, cuts. No, Obama political cartoons plural cartoons dot com and uh, Obama Sutra book dot com. This you will get. Maybe not. Uh, I, I'm sure you cannot get entitlement, but you can get enlightenment and entertainment. God bless America. God bless common sense. And I continue to fight, even if fight, well, uh, you understand, uh, Avalachi started with falling of one small stone and later became movement. I'm one of the small stones, and I'm predicted some days it will be avalanche of awareness, of common sense. Yeah, that one Reagan small said, stone is going don't to be Don't be scared. Yeah. Be prepared. And I will aware tell, be prepared and be aware. Read Obama Sutra Illustrated. Thank you, my friend. It was very nice, and I appreciate that you invited me. Thank you, and that one small stone could be represented as the, uh, the David stone um, that was yes. in this thing. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. yes. I hope this. Let's see, we have a two months. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye. I would like to listen anything from you. All right, Ilya, I'll okay? be right with you. All right, have a good